So you said once sort you, of a runaround answer. Once, once you got off the Mayflower and you immigrated to the states, that you had an aggressive three year plan. What was walk people through that? Because I think no, I sort of had an aggressive like immediate plan. But yeah, yeah. Like how did you divide and conquer here? So to me, stand up is the. It's all stand up is a good one because it's and this is one of the reasons I got into it in the first place is that stand up comedy is the only art form in my opinion that you like there there might be a guy that's the best artist in the world right mm. that's undiscovered mm. that he might be the best in the world and you don't really know mm. or there might be a guy that's like or a woman that's like the best singer in the world you know and that's why american idol there's like a singer that goes on and it's like this, how, how are they so good? And no one knew about them. And they were just some Iowa yeah. waitress doing serving coffee. Yeah. That doesn't exist in stand up comedy. There's no such thing as that. Do you know what I mean? The same way that like, there's also no, like the best basketball player in the world, but we don't never heard of him. Does that never make sense? Played a game. Yeah. yeah. Well, if he's never played a game, then he's probably not the best basketball player in the world. Right. Mm -hmm. That you're describing someone that maybe could have been the best basketball player in the mm -hmm. world, but he's not. Like if you haven't played a game, he's definitely not probably, he probably sucks at basketball. Probably terrible. He has the skill set to be that, but the same way there's lots of people that maybe are really funny and potentially have the skill set to be a great comedian, but they're not. Mm -hmm. Of course, they've never done it. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's why this one art form is different than every other one. Even videos, like, you know, the truth is like, you're making videos for a long time and then one thing just clicks. Like, did you get better that day? Like, no, not really, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that, Stand up's the one thing that if you are really, really good at stand up, like you actually can, that is enough, you know? Mm -hmm. So when people move to New York and if you are really good, like you'll, you know, you'll audition, everyone will notice it. Everyone will help you. Like people, are, when people see it, some people won't, you know, there's people. People else. gravitate towards greatness though. You, some you want to be around somebody that's making moves. Yeah. A lot of people will, like mm. a lot of people will hate you. Like a lot of people will hate like a new good person on the scene, but a lot of people will like it. Mm. So in my opinion, like stand up is the, the, just the whole thing is if you want to be a stand up comedian, like nothing, none of it matters until you get good at stand-up comedy <laughs> get good at stand-up comedy to where you showed up anywhere and like the good stand-up comedians would be like yo who are you what's your name you know what i mean the mm. same way that like think of it a basketball court where if like legitimate you know people on the knicks were messing around and you showed up and played with them they would be like yo who are you you know what i mean and and when you have that then you get in now you're in the mix and it, it, like you said it's a small same with youtube and like we know each other because mm. it's a small little world of people that are actually kind of making it work and the same way stand up's a small little world everyone sees you five times a day they know how good you are they know so if you can get that figured out then you move to a you know new york austin or whatever um los angeles that's the easiest way but for me then my the other part of that plan was that I'd built up social media sites. I'd built up, uh, I knew how to like go viral with videos and I knew how to make videos. And I've been doing that for 15 years. So I was like, let me kind of use stand up to kind of get in the, um, the, the scene a little bit, be able to sort of get in the mix where people sort of start to know my name, do some podcasts, get some audience. And then once I kind of built that up to 10, 15 K, I knew that now that people were paying attention, I could uh, make videos that would go viral. Hmm. Do you remember the first video? And then obviously being like a little bit of, uh, fearless to make a little more noise than you when you're first like kind of coming on the scene i guess is there any topic that you did a stand-up bit on that you were like actually scared on stage before you said it because you're like oh god this might not be going over well stand-up not so much because it's like my i i really work on the if i was going to do something like really wild that i was like stressed out about i would do that in a super comfortable environment like, do you know what i mean like, like an a, open mic kind of room or well a comedy club that like I'm one of the main guys at like, it doesn't matter how good I do. Like if, the, killed over if those over audiences over. complain, it doesn't matter. Like I'm, I'm in a safe environment to, mm. to work on stuff. So if I was doing like a, you know, a, if I was doing some big comedy show with all these people, I wouldn't be uh, trying some random thing, mm. you know? So it's, it's yeah. Stand up in that sense isn't scary because have you ever had people complain to the manager to not book you again? Cause it's oh, too much. Of course. And what does that conversation go like? That's what, so there's this most comedy club owners. That's the, the you know, like everything you kind of need. Uh, like, I'm sure that when you have a, like, you have a probably crew with you that, like, you guys are comfortable around each other, right? Mm -hmm. Have you ever, like, worked with someone that it kind of feels like you don't really know them that well, or maybe they feel like they don't want to be there. They're looking at their watch and it makes you, like, worse at what you do? Yes. 
I feel like comedy is like that. Like you need to find like a a crew for making comedy like videos. Like I definitely don't want anyone there that like has like I like to have a vibe, right? Mm. But stand up too. It's like you need a club that you need to find places you can do stand up where uh, the you know you're not like if I screw this up then I'm fired. You're toast. Yeah, because then you'll never be able to get, that's not a place you can get better at. That's a place you can showcase at. So basically, so you separating have places, showcasing and getting better. You have places that, um, as your act is established, this is where you go out and, and kick ass, but then you also have like the incubator areas. 1,000%. Like, 